Good afternoon folks, Simon at Vans today in Worcester, here to give you a video walk around of this 2017 on a 67 plate, the legend that is the Volkswagen Crafter 2 litre TDI trend line with air conditioning folks, that's the one everybody wants, trend line with air con, happy days. Uh, long wheelbase format this one, high roof, uh, so L3 H2, it is a one keeper from new vehicle, it has covered 104,000 miles. It has just had cam belt water pump tensioners done. It has just had the EGR done on it as well. If you're looking at these new crafters, the EGR is a slightly weak point on them, the EGR cooler. Um, so all of that's been done on it. Uh, been fully serviced as well, had new tyres fitted. We'll bang a fresh MOT on it for you before it goes out the door. 110 point PDI check, electronic health check, etc. etc. Now it's in pretty good overall condition. There's a couple of minor little bits of cosmetics, but we'll point those out to you as we go around. Because the purpose of this video is to give you a warts and all video walk around of this van so you get an idea of exactly what it is that you're buying. The vast majority of our customers will purchase having watched these videos. Leave a 500 quid deposit, come and collect, or leave a deposit and arrange a cost for delivery. Uh, now looking at your windscreen there, windscreen's in good overall condition, no cracks, stone chips or anything that's going to cause either of us any grief. Your nose uh, or your roof cone at the top there, that's all in good order as well. And if we move down onto the bonnet, the bonnet is in good overall condition as well. A um, couple of minor stone chips and I think that's actually a little bit of dirt. Um, but we'll, uh, yeah, yeah, in good overall condition. Front grills, front bumper, etc. those are all good. Your passenger side headlamp unit, that's in good condition. Your passenger side front bumper corner, all in good condition with no scuffs. And if we look down the side profile of the van, overall good condition looking down this side profile, there is a nice reflection to the paintwork, just shows you it hasn't gone dull or anything like that. Round to the driver's side headlamp unit, that's all good. And then your driver's side front bumper corner, that's in good condition as well with no scuffing. And again, looking down the driver's profile of the vehicle, it's a couple of dings on this side, okay? We'll get the dent man to have a look at them. I'm gonna point them out to you shortly, uh, and then you can have a, have a look and see what you think. They haven't broken the paint, so I think it should just be fairly easy dent man stuff. Driver's side front wing, that's in good order. Driver's side front steel wheel, good condition. We have a Continental tire on there. That tire, loads of tire tread depth on there, ladies and gents, that's all looking good. Mirror unit, the uh, integrated indicator is all good. Mirror unit itself, minor, minor little scuff marks, but nothing major. Upper and lower mirrors are all good. Driver's side door glass is all good. Driver's side door itself, good overall condition. Now there are just a couple of minor marks, I'll point them out to you. Um, your door handle and locker in good order. And if I bring the camera down along your door edges, you can see overall good condition. Now it does require just a little bit of touching up on the door edge there. And this is around about where those dings are. So we've got just a little minor one here. And we have a little minor one here. And a little minor one here. So you see those in the video now? Now they haven't broken the paint. They are there. I think the dent man should be able to sort those out for you. So uh, have a word with us, but assume that we will get that sorted out for you before it goes out to the best that the dent man can do them, okay? Uh, he should be able to sort them out pretty good, to be honest. Mid quarter, that's all looking good. Lower sills, get down low, check out your lower sills. You can see those are in good condition with no damage. The plastic protective strips going down the side of the vehicle are all in good condition as well. Your side repeaters are where they should be. Side repeaters, side lights, I should say. And then your driver's side rear quarter panel, that's all in good condition as well. No damage to there. Conti tire on the back, so nice couple of Continental tires so far. Steel wheels in good order. That tire has plenty of tire tread depth on there as well. And then just giving you another viewpoint of the driver's side of the van from this angle. Again, nice reflection to the paintwork. And other than those couple of dent mandings I was talking about, it's pretty straight and level, isn't it? Rear light unit, driver's side, that's all good. Your protective strips, etc., on the back here are all good. We have got a broken reflector there. We will fit a new one on it for you, okay, before it goes out. And then your rear doors are 50-50 split on the rear doors. Obviously, full height of rear doors as well. We do have the factory, side, uh, factory um, loading step on the back of it. 
or this stepper bumper, should we say. Now, there are a few marks on that bumper, okay? Yeah, it has been acting like a, uh, a parking stop, I should imagine. Um, but overall, it ain't too bad. And then what we've got going on here. So that will require a touching, as will that bit there as well. And there's a little ding there as well. Um, I think that's about it. So we'll get those sorted out on it, touchings and dings easy to sort now factory bulkhead as you can see inside and that bulkhead itself is not dented it's not scratched um, it obviously hasn't had too much of a hammering inside the van have a look at your roof the roof is all looking in good condition as well and then obviously we're ply lined inside the ply lining it's done a job and there's plenty of years years left in that as well flooring inside that's all good Pretty heavy duty flooring. You've got your factory tie down points. So all's looking good there. Inside of your rear doors are comprehensively ply lined as well. And that ply lining kit is also in good condition. So not done a hard job in the back of the van, okay? And then passenger side. Passenger side is also in good condition. Again, no major damage. Corners, let's have a look at that. So bring it down, have a look at your corners. They're all good. Light units are good, rear bumper corners are good, reflectors on this side are good. We do have a dent here. Uh, we'll have a dent man have a look at it. I um, don't know on that one, I'll be honest with you. I'm not sure whether we can do that one, but we'll, we'll see. Um, and then passenger side, rear quarter, again, overall good condition. We have a cap missing off the steel wheel, but I'm fairly sure we've got a spare one of those somewhere at base, so we can put that on for you. Another Continental tyre there as well. Where we are with tyres, anything less than three mil, we replace legal limit being 1.6. We do have another, just a couple of minor little marks here and here. But again, if our dent man can sort those out, we'll get him to do those for you as well. Looking down low on the passenger side, and again, your seals are in good condition. The sliding door itself, overall good condition. The black protective strips going down the side of the vehicle. These are also in good order as well. We have some really minor little scuff mark here on the front, but overall not too bad. And then your passenger door itself is in good order, as is the door glass. Handles, these are in good condition. Mirror, integrated indicator, upper and lower mirrors are good. And then your passenger front wing, that's in good condition as well. Factory steel, another Continental tyre. So you've got four Conti tyres on the vehicle. Plenty of tyre tread depth on those as well. Nice to see that the steel wheels are in good condition. And then if we open up the sliding door, slide that back nicely. Uh, now we haven't valeted this vehicle yet. Um, so we'll get those door shuts re-cleaned because those aren't to our standard, but we'll get those all re-cleaned for you. Bulkhead, roof, etc. Just giving you another viewpoint of the inside of the back of the van. Obviously, it's a Novak van, isn't it? And it's got aircon and it's trendline specification. So it's obviously going to attract interest from the camper conversion world, isn't it? Um, so uh, if you are interested, I'd get in quick. Passenger door card, front is in nice condition. Door bins are in good order, electric windows. Door shuts on the front end. Oh, look, whoever's valeted it has cleaned those, but... Uh, yeah, we'll get those redone. There's your diesel fuel filler and add blue filler. Entry seals and steps are in good condition. Move the paper mats out of the way and you can see that your rubber flooring on the passenger side front is also in good order. Stereo works, as you can probably hear. We have a book pack in there. Oh, look at that, we've got one pound and 30, no, one pound and three pence there. Um, cup holders vents top of the dash all in nice order headlining as you can see that's in nice order and then your passenger seat trim if i move our camera off the seat you can see is also in clean tidy condition as well uh, bonnet where now it hasn't been valeted under the bonnet yet folks so i'm going to show you a dirty engine very much against our standards but we will get this all cleaned up and sorted for you okay so it'll have a nice steam cleaned engine if you are interested in the vehicle uh windscreen wash dipstick oil filler coolant correct color coolant for volkswagen no contamination in it and as i say all of your scary stuff your cam belts um water pump tensioners and uh, egr cooler have all been replaced in it 
passenger door card, sorry, driver's door card, again, clean and tidy. Central locking, electric heated mirrors and electric windows. Entry seals and plastics on this side are in good condition. Move the paper mat out of the way and you can see, yes, there's a small element of wear there on the floor, but in actual fact, for one of these, pretty good condition. Driver's seat, however, does have some wear on it. Now we can get a new panel uh, sewed into that for you. Um, so don't have a heart attack. Uh, we can, it's a fairly easy fix to have that sorted out. Manual lights, obviously rear fog lights, dashboard vents, etc. all good. If you climb up into it, I'll show you the dash. So, 104,000 miles. I'm not going to turn it on and run it because it has been dropped off to us with absolutely no fuel in it. It's still got your texture on your steering wheel there and you have got the nice multi-function steering wheel with cruise control, volume control, search control, onboard computer system as well. Um, you know, silly things like your dashboard binnacle, it's not scratched, um, broken, full of dust, etc. And then obviously with this van, you have DAB, FM, AM, uh, Bluetooth telephone, Bluetooth music. Let's turn a bit of that down, shall we? Um, and you've got Apple CarPlay and Android Auto as well, folks. So there you go, you've got your Apple Connects, happy days. So that's what makes these really nice, isn't it? Aircon. App Connect, Cruise Control, what more do you need in the world? Six speed manual gearbox. We are a Pen Performance Remap agent, so if you want a bit more grunt out of this, give us a shout. I think we can remap these. What's this one go up to? About 190 brake horsepower, I think. Just clarify that with us. 350 plus the VAT for a remap. Completely transforms it, makes it into a right old weapon, sir. And there we go. Now then. There are 50 to 60 photos of this van on our website. Our website is vanstoday.com. We are Vans Today Worcester, based in the centre of the country, offering you nationwide delivery, part exchange and finance. Feel free to give us a call 01905 672 080 or email us sales at vanstoday.com. If you're worried about who you're buying off, check out our reputation online. We have reviews, Google, Facebook, LinkedIn, Instagram, Trustpilot. Um, and if you want to be kept up to date with all of our latest purchases, then like and subscribe to the YouTube channel, folks. And I believe we're about to start tick tacking, tick tocking, tacking, whatever. There you go. Getting down with the kids, getting down with the kids. There we go. Anyway, 13 minutes of your life, you're never going to get back. If you are interested in this van, give us a shout. If you want to have a chat with us about it, give us a shout. Don't forget, folks, no VAT, aircon, long wheelbase, crafter is not going to hang around for very long, so be quick. Um, and thanks for looking at the video. Cheers, bye.